don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Collecting Madness. There's always madness in love, and I love collecting. Let's get into this video. As you guys can see, we have none other than Darth Vader himself here. This is a one-to-one -one scaled prop. It's the helmet of Darth Vader, of course. However, this is done by Rubies. This isn't the Hasbro version. It's a very simple version. A lot of cosplayers use this. And my brother, again, you know, supporting the channel, was able to lend me this piece and review it or unbox it for you guys here today. So... As you can see, it's wide open. I wish there was a film here, but there isn't. And you get an image of Darth Vader on the side. You get another one on the back, some information on the back where it was manufactured. Um, it is a collector's edition, if that means anything in this line. This helmet came out some years ago and it's still sitting with rubies. It's a good piece for looks. Uh, we'll talk about it more once I get it out of the box. So let's go ahead and do that. So you start off at the top here. And it opens up. It's protected with a little another piece of cardboard on top. And then the helmet comes right out. Here we have the Darth Vader helmet. As you can see, it is a very simple design. Now what's cool about this is it actually has a different kind of paint apps on the helmet, you know, just like it did in the film where it has the contrast on the face where one side's a glossier and then the other side is a more matte color. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but in person you'll definitely be able to notice that if you decide to pick one of these up. now. I did say in the beginning it is just a replica and it's meant for cosplaying and to be worn with a costume. It isn't a toy. It doesn't make any noise. It's just simply for looks. So it is wearable um, and it does come apart so I will show you that here. And I did also want to mention that it does not have red eyes. It's just a straight black translucent see-through helmet. You do get the dome that just comes off. I said before, this piece does not separate like the Hasbro. You get his little tusks here. You get some uh, silver painting here as well. So it's nicely painted. I wish it was a little bit more done, uh, like, I guess, glossier. So here is the dome, just the dome. It is all made out of plastic. Um, you have where the top of it mounts into there and there's some velcro lining inside here as well up on the top up there if you can see and that is how it is mounted to the helmet itself so let's bring that helmet out and here is the helmet and as you can see it looks a little funny without the dome you can see how translucent that it is being here in the light box how much the light shines through you can see that this is graded so you can talk through it you can breathe through it um, in the back it does have uh, some straps so it does come unattached and you can see there's a whole bunch of padding on the inside to protect your face it feels comfortable you know so you're not rubbing on plastic your face isn't getting irritated so it's it's nicely done and it's very simple there's no detail on the side like machinery like your Hasbro one or whatever um, so pretty much what you're paying for is literally just the helmet itself for looks uh, what my brother and I are doing or really I should say my brother is making a kind of uh, one to one scale costume he's working on the pieces right now and he's actually 3d printing it so I'll show you those pieces here in a little bit and then we'll go over and uh, wrap up the video here now one more thing I did want to mention like I said you could really see it here the kind of two different textures where it was glossy and then matte and you get that on different angles of the helmet so that you know you get that that contrast because it's an all-black helmet and in the film back in the day in the 70s uh it was hard to pick up on camera his it kind of all blended i guess so this was a way to 
to break it up. So as you can see, like I said, he was working on a 3D print of this stuff. Um, you can notice the little green lights and he'll be able to house all the, the lighting in here. He 3D printed all of these parts except the silver parts here. These are actual metal. I don't know what he used, but he stuck them in there and it looks like some type of gaskets in there for the red lighting. Um, it's pretty cool. And then he was able to seal the, the grate in there and you can see through that as well so once this is all has the housings and this will light up it'll be lit and looked really cool when you attach it to the box now there is a backing I didn't grab those but you can see the mounting points and it has these slits for a belt to go through and then the backing plate goes over and seals up to the belt and they'll be able to turn these on and uh, it will look really cool so he did both sides the left and the right just wrapping up on the one-to-one -one scale darth vader ruby's helmet and i will say i'm impressed with this piece however i do think that if you are looking for something that actually does something related to the movie or a more movie accurate look in my opinion this is it but it isn't at the same time it's very you know fingerprint i'm sure all the the darth vader helmets are like fingerprint magnet the velcro attachment they used it is a little bit difficult to get on and you spend a little bit of time trying to put it in place however if you're that person who just is displaying it like my brother is or you want it for your costume and something that's going to last and it's not going to be cheap you know plastic something for your display and you don't want to go crazy on money then this piece is for you it's a great way to represent darth vader in your collection and if you're just a fan it's something that will always look good on your shelf i will say the ruby's helmet here is better than the hasbro one as far as look wise goes in comparison to the film this has a much better dome, has a better face. The one that the Hasbro comes with, not their new one. Their new one is updated from the Kenobi show. But if you want more movie accurate, I'd go this route. If you want it to do something, again, Hasbro one. So it's a matter of preference. It depends on what you like, what you love. And at the end of the day, that's what we do. We collect what we love, and that's why we do this. So you know Darth Vader is my favorite character. I absolutely love seeing this helmet in person. It's big, so uh, you get the gist of David Prowse being in this, and it's very intimidating once somebody has it on or if you're in full costume with it. Uh, this will definitely get people turning their heads towards you. Uh, it's just very well done, and uh, my hat's off to Ruby's. So I will link it down in the description where we got ours. I'm pretty sure they still have stock. There's a lot of these out there. I'm sure you can also buy from a different website than what I will be linking down below. And if you find one for a better deal, go for it. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want this helmet in your collection. Let me know if you have the other helmets in your collection. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.